Hey guys, so I'm going to get started with this new foundation that I've tried from Clinique. It's the Super Balanced Silk Makeup and I am the shade 04 Silk Bisque. It's a pretty nice foundation. I'm still getting, you know, used to it, but so far first impressions I've really enjoyed it. The color match is really, really nice, so I like that. And it's got SPF 15 in it, which is nice. Next, I'm gonna put my Tarte CC Cream. I don't always do this step, but I think it really, really helps when you do have the time and you wanna have more coverage underneath the eye. I use the shade Light Medium, and I find that this works with pretty much all of the concealers that I own. It blends really nicely, and I just put it on with my finger, and it just, that really blends it in nicely. I don't use a brush when I apply my corrector. Then I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. Um, I use the shade 1C Light Cool and I really like this stuff. It's not as durable as MAC Pro Longwear, but it's very, very brightening and the formula is really creamy and easy to blend. So it's nice, but definitely if you're looking for longwear, then I would stick to MAC Pro Longwear. And I like to blend this in with a Real Technique sponge. And I usually dampen it a little bit before I use it. And I just dab it in lightly. And I think that this makes everything look really, really, really flawless. So I prefer this over using brushes for my concealer. Then I'm going to use the YSL, I think you call it the Touche Eclat, I'm not sure, I'm probably saying that all wrong. And I draw a triangle underneath my eye. And this is another step that I don't do every day, but when I have time to put on a little bit more makeup, I like to do it because it really, really brightens your face and just the whole under eye area. And by drawing the triangle, I feel like it really lifts everything up and it's just very, very nice. So, a little bit more time consuming, but since it was date night, I decided to do a little bit extra. And then I'm going to set everything with my Laura Mercier setting powder. This stuff's really great. I do use this every day. So it's a great product. It really is nice to make sure it doesn't crease. And then I'm going to follow with MAC Prep and Prime powder. And then I'm going to use my trusty NARS Laguna bronzer. I love this stuff. I've used it for years and I really need to purchase another one because mine's getting kind of gross and I just I every day I use this product I pop it in the hollows of my cheeks and I just think it just is such a nice color and a little bit on my nose and a little tiny bit around my hairline and then I'm gonna put NARS thin blush right on top of that I think this is a nice fall shade so it's pretty. And then my Becca Champagne Pop. I'm just going to put that right on my cheekbone. And it's just the best highlighter ever. And then I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Longwear brow pencil and this stuff is really really great. It is very very long wear so um, I think I have to use a heavier hand With this product because it's just the formula is very different But I like that I get a really natural looking result with this product So it doesn't just like 
Uh, it doesn't look like it's drawn on, if that makes sense. It's very natural looking. So this is one of my favorite brow products that I have. And I'm just gonna set everything with my Rimmel Clear Brow Gel. You can get this at the drugstore, it's like three bucks. And Kobe decided to join us. And because I love my dog, I decided to drop everything and give him attention. Because that's what happens in my house. And back to it, I'm gonna use the Lorac palette and I'm going to start with the cream shade and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. This is just going to get rid of any redness or veins that we have going on and act as our base. And I'm going to use the pewter shade and I'm going to just pack that right on top of the lid. This is a nice pretty shimmery brown shade that I love to wear. You know I can like layer it up or just wear it out on its own. It's really pretty. And I'm going to just blend that out with a clean blending brush. And then I'm going to take the mauve shade. I'm going to take a tiny bit of that through the outer part of my crease. gonna blend all that out. And then I'm gonna take the shade white and pop that on my brow bone. Now I'm going to take the shade Espresso on a pencil brush and just line underneath my lash line. This is my favorite shade to use in the whole palette for underneath the eyes. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to take my Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 pencil and I'm just going to kind of roughly apply a line because I always blend this line out, I'm never too worried about it being precise or smooth. So I just kinda draw it on really quick. And then I blend it out with an angled brush. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply my Ardell Demi Wispies. And then I'm going to use my MAC lip liner in the shade Kiss Me Quick. And I really like whenever I do a red lip to really use the MAC Pro Longwear liners underneath because it really makes the makeup last a lot longer. And I'm always nervous that red lipstick will fade away. Even when I buy like the liquid lipsticks, I think nothing works better than using a MAC Pro Longwear liner underneath your lipstick. And then I'm gonna take the shade by MAC called Spice It Up. And it's a luster, so it's not too bright. 
And then I'm going to coat my lashes with L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And then I'm going to take this dry shampoo by, I think it's called Not Your Mother's, because I have second day hair today, so I'm just going to wrap a few sections around a curling wand. Usually when I do this, I only have to divide my hair into two sections, so my hair is pretty thin. And I'll just do the top layer. I grab pretty big sections of hair when I do this. I'm just going for loose waves, not real curls. Now I'll just spray my hair with the Garnier Sleek and Shine hairspray, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video. Let me show you guys the outfit that I wore. I just wore this ASOS top, Topshop jeans, these nude heels by Kurt Geiger, and my Prada bag. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this, and be sure to subscribe.